Hey guys, welcome to this video. Andy Math. We're gonna be factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient of one. So here's six of them right here. X squared plus five X plus six. So we make one of these X things, put the six here and the five here. So the six from right here goes on top, the five from right here goes on bottom. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to six and add to five. Two and three. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 2 times 3 is 6. So then this gets turned into two parentheses, x and x, and we do our x plus 2 and our x plus 3. And now we're done. We factored it. And that's it. That's how we're going to do all of these. To double check our work, you could FOIL it. So x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 3 is 6. Combine like terms and we get x squared plus 5x plus 6, which brings us back to where we started. So we know that we factored it correctly. So we'll just do five more of these just to practice together and then that'll be it. So for number two, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 21 and add to negative 4. So it's a little bit trickier. Another thing you can do is start making numbers that multiply to 21. So that'd be 1 and 21, 3 and 7. Oh, 3 and 7. Negative 7 and 3. If I added them, I'd get negative 4. And if I multiplied them, I'd get negative 21. So you'll just get used to these, how the negatives work and everything. But you have your x and your x, minus 7 plus 3, and we're done. That's how that works. Now for the next one, number 3. Same thing, we want two numbers that multiply to this negative six and add to this five. So immediately you feel like two and three, but two and three doesn't work because it's a negative six. So the two and the three, you need a negative two or a negative three, and neither of those would give you a five because the numbers are working against each other. So we need to think about what else would multiply to give us six. Well, there's two and three, there's also one and six, and there we go, that's where it's at. If we make the one negative, so negative one and positive six. Negative one times six is negative six. And when you add them, you get positive five. So now we found our two numbers, x minus one, x plus six. And that's the answer to number three. Now for number four, same thing again, we'll make our x. We want two numbers that multiply to positive four and add to negative four. So what multiplies to four? One and four, or two and two? Well, there's no way to get one and four to give us four when we're adding, but we can add up two negative twos. So negative two plus negative two is negative four, and negative two times negative two is positive four. So now we have our two numbers. X minus two times X minus two. And you can also write this one as X minus two squared because there's two of them so here's the two possible answers for that one next we have a 12 and a 7 so exact same steps multiply to give us 12 and add to give us 7. so what are some numbers that multiply to give us 12 that would be 1 and 12 6 and 2 6 and 2 won't work 3 and 4 3 and 4 that adds up to 7. So three times four is 12, three plus four is seven. So it's gonna be x plus three, x plus four. And that is the answer to that one. And for the last one, I'll stick it over here. x, so we're multiplying to get to 12, and we're adding to negative eight. So what gives us 12? One and 12. There's no way to make that into an eight, two and six, two and six. Yep, that works. And we want a negative two and a negative six because we want them to add to the negative eight and then negative two times negative six is 12. So the answer for this one is X minus two and X minus six. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out andymath.com for more factoring practice. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.